I don't know if I've done it on the pod before. Did I ever talk about getting a happy ending massage in Montreal? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went to Montreal when we were 19 because the drinking age in Quebec is 19. Okay. Randomly. Which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's also just a weird. Why 19? Why 19? I'm glad we can all agree on that. I think I think the age for everything should be 25. I don't think you should be able to drink, do drugs, drive, have sex. I think 25 should be where it starts. I actually agree with that. Yeah. The no age one, of consent yeah. should be 25. And if you have sex below that age, you should go to prison. <laughs> like actually though. Yeah. Or like if you're above 25. And you're a man, you shouldn't be dating someone below 25. Yeah. Agreed. See, that's my that's Agreed. my hard line. Do you line guys agree with that? Or yes. below, yeah, that's my line. Why? Well, because people, is everyone dating 18 year olds? I don't. Well, that's more I mean, of an we, LA we thing. Know I don't why. know. Of many yeah, that is way. <laughs> yeah. okay. thing, I don't know anyone who does yeah. that. A lot of guys okay, are dating young thing. starlets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and mentoring they're, them yeah they're mentoring helping them see their Up fullest potential <laughs> yeah um i think um okay so like you know how everyone says your brain doesn't fully develop till you're 25 yeah. don't you guys remember hearing that before you were 25 and you're like the fuck does that even mean like totally. i'm fully conscious like yeah. what do you? it was insulting yeah exactly mm -hmm. and but then once i turned 25 for me I understood it, but it's more of like I viscerally understood it. Mm -hmm. And the thing I think I understood the most is like just the lack of consideration and fear. I think that's the biggest thing that developed for me when I yes. turned 25 is like way more fear, way more yeah. um, understanding of like mortality, totally. of like danger to myself, of like getting hurt. I got more scared of flying in a plane, like all yeah. these things that I just never connected, like I could be in danger to them started. That's what really changed for me at 25. Does, yeah, is I'm that scared what, all the time, really? like especially walking. I'm like always looking behind me, but I think that's also like a woman thing. Yeah. But also like as I get older, I think about when I was younger and I was, you know, dating older men. And I was like, what the fuck were they doing? And then I look at pictures of me when I was 20. I'm like, I look like a kid. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so fucked up. Yeah, I don't know how we got here, but. No, we were talking agree? about 25. Okay. Yeah, right, right, right. We we're and talking should about be the age, age of no, consent yeah. Yeah. and why it was the age of drinking because yeah. 19 in Quebec. Right. Yeah. So And porn. You shouldn't watch porn if yeah. you're below 25. But I do that's, also yeah, understand why when you're below 25, you're always going to want to do those things and you're going to do those of things. Of course, you have to. So it's sort of like... But you don't understand why until you're older. That's why, you know, you just got to let people make the mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. But I think if you make the mistake, you should you should go to prison. <laughs> yeah. Just to repeat that. What's something that <laughs> felt like that kind of got walked upon in the conversation. And I just want to really reiterate. I think, punishment. I think there should be and punishment. Should be and I think <laughs> that punishment so is true. not an insignificant amount of time in prison behind bars. Yeah. yeah. Well, insignificant, then you would just do it again. It has to be a significant enough time that they think about what they've done and they reconsider. Mm -hmm. 10 to 15 year prison sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Actually, you know they say youth is wasted on the young. Yes. <laughs> they, they, you know, prison is wasted on the old. <laughs> Why are we not incarcerating younger people at a higher rate? <laughs> I'm saying. I'm saying. Um, so we were 19, and we not that like I, I, we had a hard time actually, and I wonder if it's hard these days. But we had a hard time underage drinking in our college town because it was so small. There was only really one bar where mm -hmm. I went to college. Where'd so you go? Williams College. Okay, he's Northwest smart. Northwest Mass. Oh, you know he's it. Smart man. Oh, I'm from Mass. I feel like, oh, I feel like no one knows Williams. Where, well, where in Mass are you from? Needham, Massachusetts. Needham. Okay. That's like, that's more east. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No um, wonder you were an alcoholic. I know. <laughs> yeah. So it was says. calling to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there was like one bar so that the bouncer knew, like, if you were a freshman, he'd know that he didn't know you before. So right. therefore, by default, he would know you're 18. So we had like a hard time underage drinking. So we'd go on these trips to like go drink. And we went to Montreal. We got super drunk. I got, I blacked out. And in Montreal, uh, happy ending massages are legal. Oh that my God. That doesn't make them right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but they are allowed. 
Okay. And we <laughs> I like your reactions. <laughs> I'm just okay. I'm taking it all in. All right. 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 <laughs> um so That's we, a good listener. Right. <laughs> okay. I am a good listener. Thank yeah. you. It's a good quality. Okay. So I don't know why I just got aggressive. It's with a great that. quality. Yeah. 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 Thank you, you, said, you said that like I had before been like, you're the worst listener ever, Kate. You don't know shit about Everyone listening. knows Kate doesn't listen, but let's give this podcast a shot. <laughs> um so and I guess like I don't know how much familiarity you guys have with happy ending massage parlors. I have quite a bit, but oh damn! Okay. Well, no, I've gone three times. <laughs> wow! I've Whilst gone, drunk, I, if I'm being honest, I've gone four times. Okay, thank thank you. <laughs> and if I'm being really honest, <laughs> I've yeah. been so many times. I don't know how many times. I've been. Wait, were you drunk each time? <laughs> so the first time I went, I was 15. That's a simple. Sorry, <gasps> sorry. Oh man. Oh, sorry. sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're too. like Loki, a victim. I walked oh. in there of my own volition. Okay. You should still be in prison from that condition. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if the if the if the system worked the way that <laughs> I think it should work and Jamie thinks it should work, I should be starting to become eligible for parole yes. this year. Yes, mm -hmm. agreed. Um, after fourteen hardened years <laughs> in the clink, mm. um, I went once when I was fifteen to a spa in New York City. A spa. And I say spa, and I mean spa, because I got a full hour-long massage before okay. I got jerked off. Okay. Second time I went in New York City, I was like, okay, I think I don't want to go again. Because mm -hmm. the woman stood in front of the door, and I had tipped her, and mm -hmm. she was like, you're not leaving till you tip me more. <gasps> oh. Real. I, and, and so I did. <laughs> Real? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get it. I the third time was in Montreal, and then the final time I was really drunk in Mexico. The, the each of the times I had been, I had had something to drink, and I was various degrees of okay. drunk. Um, but the time in Montreal I was blackout drunk, and uh, you know how? Well, I'm a very sleepy drunk. Okay. So before. I had, we'd gone to the parlor, we'd gone to a club okay. and apparently this is told back to me, but I'd gotten, there were these huge speakers. I'd gotten on top of one of the speakers sitting mm. and gone to sleep covering my ears. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so that was, that was how my night started. Okay. And then we got to this happy ending massage place. And I guess in Montreal, I've never seen this at another parlor. They give you a much like, um, a what's What's the place where sex workers are live in a house? What's that called? Brothel. 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 Much like in a brothel at this happy ending spot, they brought out a lineup of women. Oh my God. And you could wow. choose from the women. That would be so hurtful. Well, interestingly. <laughs> yeah. Like if you didn't get picked ever. Apparently, and I'm not going by my own standards of attractiveness, but apparently there's a whole lineup and there was one person in particular who stood out in the lineup as potentially being less attractive than the other women. Oh, Someone who was much older, oh. much heavier, covered head to toe in tattoos. Whoa. And apparently in my state, I went that one. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know what that says about me. And also again, I don't recall any of this and I don't believe that any women are more attractive than others. I think everyone We're is the same perfect. amount of attractive, yes. yeah. which is the most and women are empowered. Thank you. Amazing. And many Get of them are black. Get more confident each year. What? Many yeah. women are black, oh, which is yeah. also great. That's so true. Um, many women are trans. Doesn't make them less women. Um, oh. None of these women were trans or black. But if they had been, I'd have been happier. And that I'm sorry was I, such a sentence. Yeah. I'm like sorry taking I said it all it. in. You Kate, know? We're getting we're gonna get back to your story in, in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like I'm, wait. I'm strapped in and excited for that one. But can I ask you an invasive question? Please. How did did you like bust if you were drunk? So what happened was I fell asleep on the table. <laughs> okay. And I woke up to what I can only describe as oh my God. the pretty graphic sight of in my mind, because this is when I blacked in, okay, uh, seeing someone I'd never seen before, yeah. vigorously and at this point frustratedly jerking <laughs> me off, as they started to decide that they were going to give up, I woke up with the spins, went new, no, new, new, new oh, got shit. up, went to the bathroom, and threw up. So no bus, not to my knowledge, out of your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> busted chunks. Oh my god, that must have been such a brutal morning. Like that shame after the next morning. 
Yeah. Unless you didn't feel shame, then I love that for you. Well, I don't <laughs> love that because that kind of sounds I'm sure traumatic. I felt shame, but it's yeah. been so long that I sort of like remember the facts of the case, but not like the emotional plot points. Yeah. yeah. You can talk about it now without feeling bad. Yeah. And I think that's beautiful. Yeah. 